All right, your next level pull side rollover. At this point, you have a nice rock. You're not going too wide with it, and you're able to do the shot on any timing. Being like pull, 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 pull. You're not rocking it just for show and then doing some gaggy type shot. You just you can have the nice rock, and you know you can go at any point that you want. Pull, 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 or push, 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 something like that. So. Uh, Here's the here's the best tips I got. This is uh, this was huge for me. And the first night I learned it, I did a actually a crazy amount of dead bar. I did a thousand dead bar pull side rollovers. The very first night I learned it like this. That's how big it was. Um, for for you, will shooting this do uh, about a finger in between the bumper and the bearing. Um, if you're not hitting that enough, then do a finger and a half. Um, if you're if you're not hitting that pretty much all the time then then you gotta go back and redo the other these other ones do redo the drills and and get it right all right so this uh this drill this this push pull side rollover the key to getting it way out there is bringing the ball down to where you're about here with the ball so in super slow motion you you stay on the ball, I can't because I have the this ball in the way right now, but uh, you stay on the ball all the way till about there, and then the flick, you gotta be coming in, so you, it's just a nice little flick like this, in. That's why we've been setting the rod on the other side so that your wrist gets has been getting used to grabbing it and pushing it across there. The, ro the, the recoil doesn't have to be across the whole table or anything, and it shouldn't be. It should be just focused right there, but it has to swirl in toward, back towards the middle of the goal. That's all you need right there. Most people will end up pushing it across more after that, but it's all about that flick. Get this one down, and it'll help out your life. So you bring, bring it down to there, flick it in, and then... You know, usually you'll have a recoil afterwards that's hitting bumpers and stuff, but it's actually better if you can clean that up to where that's all, because that is all you need. So, um, pull, 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 pull. That's a, that's the the muscle memory should be there from all the other drills that we've done at this point. So now it's just about knowing that you can bring this right to there. And then flick it in. Sorry about that. Bring it right to there. And you gotta make sure that it's kinda doing this little corkscrew thing in towards the middle of the goal. Right there. And your trigger to hit that is as soon as you, as soon as you're past the ball, then you're hitting. And it, the timing just works out perfect. Especially if you've done all those other drills. That's all I got to say about that. Good luck, this is the fun part. So, once you can start hitting these, that's when the game becomes real fun. At least for me it was. Good luck.